All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to what will hopefully be a series that will last. Because anytime I do a My NBA, the series does not last, or it's very short, like the Knicks one I did. I only did nine episodes of because I got sick and tired of it. But I have decided to use the Minnesota Timberwolves this time because I have an idea for them. I have an idea in this off season. I'm going to simulate the rest of this regular season because I'm gonna be honest, I don't care about it for this series. I want to go straight to the off season. But I have an idea for this Timberwolves team, and it involves trading a star player, maybe two. But I plan on just completely flipping this team and building around Anthony Edwards. That is my plan. That is who I'm going to build around. And hopefully, I added some. I made some sliders, mainly for the contracts, and hopefully, they actually work. Uh, these are the sliders that um, um, I made. And it ba basically makes it so, you can see right here, that we don't have players that don't deserve max contracts. Players like Mitchell Robinson or players like, uh, who else is another young player that will ask for way too much? Or even Ben Simmons won't be asking for a complete max contract. It's mainly for those players that aren't even high overalls, aren't even that good in 2K, that ask for way too much money, like way too much, like 20 to 30 year max contracts. Like CJ's only asking 19 mil. Which is very reasonable for CJ McCollum. Jonas Valanciunas, $12 million. That makes sense. Jaden Ivey right now at 25 mil is his market. Marvin Bagley, who would usually get a giant contract. But there are some players in the middle that are kind of weird. Uh, like Keegan Murray, SBA salary is 20 million, but that I'm assuming is when he's a free agent. And players like Larry Marketing aren't going to expect much. That's the only downside. There's really no in between. There are some players that are really good that aren't going to expect much money in free agency like norman powell is only expecting four mil zubac six mil like these are players that could get easily 10 to 15 mil range that won't but i mean if those are also players that are usually not on a team in like season three so i am perfectly fine with that and i do plan on playing some of these games so i'm gonna um change the sliders and i'm gonna turn on real player percentage for the shooting instead of the jump shots because there's no way i'm gonna be able to time everyone's jump shot it's just not gonna happen so I'm going to turn that on so maybe I can actually hit some outside shots. But without further ado, this is what the roster is looking like for the rest of the season. I am going to keep Cat out the rest of the year. There's no need for him to play. Even though we can make a playoff push. He's out one or two weeks. Maybe I shouldn't. We Maybe I shouldn't have him sit. Because we don't have our pick this year, right? I don't, I don't know if there's a way for me to see it. Yeah, there's no way for me to see if we have our pick this year. But uh, I'm assuming we don't. I'm assuming that is in utah so may maybe i should just go all in and try and make the playoffs this year. well they already have cat playing through the injury but this is what the lineup looks like uh probably gonna keep it like this with uh jada mcdaniel starting yeah most like or do i want uh jalen noel probably jada mcdaniel so noel can uh contribute sub scoring off the bench alexander walker has amazing shooting splits and there's really no one else on this team that could give us much better, much more scoring. Because we have a backup center, backup power forward, backup... Oh, Jalen Noel is a backup point guard. I might move him back over to shooting guard and sign a backup point guard. Because Jalen Noel is more of a shooting guard to me. So we'll, let's see free agency if we can sign someone for a late playoff push. Uh, maybe a John Wall. I'd be 100% down to sign John Wall if we had the money. For, to make a late playoff push i think i'm going to cut uh nathan knight uh because i don't think i don't think i can uh sign john wall if he's assigned to g league he's only one million dollars so i'd rather just cut him and let's see if we even have the money for john wall we do how does he decline that offer you're not going to get a better offer than that i'll sign a kemba or eric bledsoe at this point if you're not going to accept that there's no reason why you shouldn't accept that offer like can i Give you a no trade clause he still declines it all right bet you don't want to sign you don't want to sign do i want to sign kemba or eric bledsoe or it should i sign isaiah thomas for the rest of the season just because just be the backup point guard i'm gonna sign it because why not mr john wall didn't want to accept the contract i'll sign isaiah thomas to play the backup point guard position for us why not a nice veteran on the team can get alexander walker's minutes probably gonna up his shot tendencies and i'm just gonna let it ride as is for the rest of the season 
I'm gonna go to shot tendencies, make sure those are all set. Like ant, I want you with a 95 shot tendency, 95 touches tendency. Cat, you can go up to an 85. Uh, Mike Conley, I want you shooting a bit because you're our point guard and you're the fourth best player on this team. Nas Reed, I'll leave you at 65. Jaden McDaniels, I definitely want you up to a, at least a 65. Up your touches, Nas Reed, I'm gonna lower your touches. Kyle Anderson, he can definitely score the rock, so at least threes too. Is this three-point tendency up there? It better be. It's only at 26. Yeah, it says his secondary is three points, right? Yeah, this man's got 81-3, boy. If you don't start shooting those threes, up that to a 50. Uh, Cat, Ant. All right, so those guys all have decent three-point tendencies. Uh, who else? Jalen Noel. Shot tendency is only at 60. I'm going to up that to an 80 because he's going to be my main scorer off the bench. And then last but not least, Isaiah Thomas is already at a 75. I'm going to lower that to a 70. Then to a, a both to a 70. And that seems about right. Anyone I want to send to the G League? Probably not. I'll send this guy. He's on a three-year contract. I'm assuming they um, drafted him. Uh, yeah, with second round. And that's probably the only guy I'm going to send to the G League. This is, yep, this is what the rotation is going to look like. Let's just simulate the rest of the um, season. Let's see how we do against the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, the Timberwolves just lost this game in real life, sadly, as a Heat fan. We needed them to win. Uh, Rudy Gobert dropped 28. He's been having a bad year this year, so that's good to see. Ant dropped 18. Cat in his return dropped 13. Mike Conley with a nice 17-point game. Nas Reed 14 off the bench. And for the Nets, I am going to actually go fix... I'm going to fix Mikel Bridges's... Bridges's... Bridges is yeah, that's how you say it. his shot tendency because they upped it They updated his rating to an 87, but they didn't up his shot tendency. I'm gonna up that bad boy to an 85 <laughs> Because there's no way this this man should have a high shot tendency same thing with Spencer Dinwiddie I'm up his to a 75 and I'm not gonna do this for all teams just teams that make sense Because like I said, there's no reason why uh, Mr. Mikhail Bridges should have an 85 shot tendency So I'm gonna go around the league and fix whoever I gotta fix all right, I fixed all of them. Or I literally just went around the league and fixed them all. All of that that took longer than I expected. But we won this game. Let's simulate this game against the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, I should say Cat is John Ball. John Ball. John Wall signed with the Celtics. They should have even less cap room than us. I guess he wanted to win, win a championship. Uh, we held Trey Young to 16 points, but we still lost because they had like what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double-digit scores. Seven. Ant had 20. So let's just simulate to the end of the regular season. Leave rotation as is. I don't care because we don't even have our draft pick. Oh, we're losing a lot. Oh, we're losing. Oh, my God. We're on a massive losing. And wow, this is not good because we do not have our pick. I mean, it'll be a late lottery pick. Yo, we went what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We went three and ten. To end the season. 3 and 10. 4 and 10. We go 5 and 10 to end the season. That is not the way you want to end the season. Jokic is your three time MVP. Paolo Bancaro is your rookie of the year. Uh, sixth man of the year is Russell Westbrook, even though I think he's starting now. Uh, Joel Embiid is your DPOI, which is very surprising. Actually, I'm going to override that because that deserves, that goes to uh, Mr. Jaron Jackson Jr. This man averaged three blocks a game. Uh, Trey Jones, most improved. That is going to end up going to Lowry Marketing, who is a power forward in this game, right? He's a power forward in this game, I think. Or is he a small forward? He looks at a small forward for some reason. That is going to Lowry Marketing. Uh, Mike Budenhoser is your coach of the year. On be a first team, Luka Doncic, Shea, Giannis, Tatum, and Jokic. All NBA second team, John Morant, Trey Young, Julius Randle. Uh, LeBron James and Joel Embiid and all NBA third team James Harden Damian Lillard Kevin Durant Jimmy Butler and DeMontis Sabonis uh, All defensive first team. It's always Luka and I'm changing that Because <laughs> it should not be Luka. I, I don't understand how Luka is making all defensive teams like this it doesn't make much sense All right, I decided to give it to Marcus Smart. He's seen most deserving uh, Shea is a surprise here, but looking at his stats, he averaged two steals and a block for a point guard. So he's definitely staying. Giannis, Evan Mobley, and Joel Embiid. Uh, OG Ananobi, Anthony Edwards of our Timberwolves. Uh, Chris Stapps, Jason Tatum, and Miles Turner Tatum. It's a bit surprising to see here, but I mean, it is what it is. 
all rookie first team is what it is and all rookie second team so i'm assuming we made the play in yeah we we snuck in as a 10th seed the lakers went all the way up to eight mavericks fell the pelicans jumped up to five the heat ended up jumping up to six and the knicks fell because 2k has such disrespect for the new york knicks like uh, how far did they fall they fell to the seventh seed yeah that's disappointing the heat won five in a row they were a game back of the fourth seed so that's disappointing that we didn't get there uh we're not even the heat so we shouldn't worry we only edged the blazers and the thunder by a game barely got into the play and i honestly don't care about the play-in, so we lose, we lose. I believe we're going up against the Warriors anyways. Yeah, we're going up against the defending champs. So I don't expect us to win. But final season stats, Anthony Edwards averaged 25 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals. Now 47% from the field, 37% from 3. Uh, he is definitely the player we're going to build around. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, 19.7 rebounds, 5 assists. Uh, his future is unknown with the team. He could be the, uh, the star that gets traded. It could be Gobert. It could be both. Uh, Gobert is only an 82 overall. I just noticed. Yikes. Uh, yeah, only 19 points for Carl Towns, but he only played 36 games. Rudy Gobert, 13 points, 11 rebounds, and only a block, which is a career low, it looks like, besides his rookie year. The lowest since his rookie year. Uh, Jaden McDaniels had a very solid year, averaging 11 points. Mike Conley, 11 points. Jalen Noel, 11 points. And Nas Reed, 11 points. All had 10.7 points. So that says for itself. So let's get into this playing round. Uh, we're just going to simulate. And we won. Okay. It is what it is. We make the playoffs. That means that pick for the Jazz gets even lower. Won't be in the lottery. Clay Thompson dropped 29. When we knock out the defending chance behind Carl Anthony Towns, 28 points. And Kyle Anderson's 25 points. That's wild. The Lakers get in as a 7th seed. And we're going up against Kyrie Irving, Luka Tonjes, and the Mavericks. And... As expected, we get eliminated, losing by 11 points. Luka had a 34-point triple-double. Kyrie Irving had 27, and Josh Green had 19 in the game. And, Kat and Kyle Anderson just averaged 25 points in the playing rounds. That's that's insane. I didn't even touch his tendencies. But Ant and Cat combined for 68. It was not enough, and we get eliminated. And let's just simulate the playoffs. Simulate. Let's see who wins. The eight-seeded Mavericks make it all the way to the finals, and it's Luka versus Trey. A finals, I'm sure everyone would love for the storyline that they got traded for each other. The Heat made it all the way to the conference finals. What is going on? So the fourth seed and the eighth seed. The conference finals in the West was the Lakers and the Mavericks, the seventh and eighth seed. That said, it says it all right there. Let's see who wins the finals. It is Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks. So you can cross Trey Young off the list of star players to get traded because they just won a championship and he's not going to be leaving. Uh, Giannis has him retires. Melo retires. Dwight Howard, Kyle Lowry. You have another year on your contract. As a Heat fan, I mean, you get the money off, it'll be fine, but it's not realistic for Kyle Lowry to retire that early. Derrick Rose, you're not retiring, buddy. I might look to sign you. Uh, other than that, everyone else can go. I even know Mario Traumas are still in the league. Staff retirement, Thiago Splitter retires Hall of Fame, Dwight Howard, and Carmelo League. Me 2K has really got to fix uh, the Matt, the Nuggets retiring Melo's jersey. It's not going to happen. Jokic wears number 15. So why would they retire his number if now one of their best players in franchise history is wearing it? League meetings all get rejected. I am fine by that. Draft lottery. The Jazz do have our pick. They have... It will be at 12. They have two lottery picks. So do the Spurs. Uh, let's see. The Jazz do not jump up. Their pick stays at 12. We, it's a pick swap, right? I hope so. It No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not a pick swap. I also think it was a pick swap. Hell no, that'd be stupid because the Jazz aren't good. Jazz get the ninth pick. Uh, Pacers win the Victor Wembanyama sweepstakes. So that means that Miles Turner might be on the trade block. Uh, staff signings. We are going to fire Chris Finch. And we are going to sign uh, Taylor Drink. I want to sign a real-life head coach. And we are going to be signing whoever the hell Oliver Gordon is to be our next head coach. I tried signing a real person, and none of them were interested. I think this might be where I end it because I don't plan on drafting anyone because I don't think we have any pick. Uh, can I not see my picks? Oh, it was right. No, I did not. Want no, I did not. And I'm in the draft now. I guess we're doing the draft because I cannot. Uh, get out of it. I do have a pick. They're both second rounders. 
and sim to the end. That's not what I expected. Uh, Victor Wembanyama goes to the Rockets. I mean, the Pacers. Scoot Henderson to the Rockets. Uh, Cam Whitmore to the Spurs. Uh, let's see what our picks look like. Um, Timberwolves, 67 overall. I missed out on anyone? Not really. Uh, this dude. I'm not saying his name. We got Andre Jackson, 69 overall. So we didn't miss out on much. Um, Beecham had four bat. Ooh, Reese Beecham. That, that's a player. Same thing. This dude. This dude has six badges. That's going to be it for this episode. Leave like guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.